to our quarantine series. I'm Holly McCutcheon with Warwick County Soil and Water Conservation District, and I have Mr. Lane. You want to wave to the audience, Lane? <laughs> and Josie, you want to wave? <laughs> As helpers. And today, what is what's the theme this week? Do you guys remember what have we been talking about? Trash, yes, but um, oil, uh, water, you got me saying oil, water. Remember our theme is water this week. So this week, we're gonna talk about why it's so important to keep our water clean. Do you guys wanna drink dirty water? Yeah. No, I, I don't drink either. chocolate water. You bring chocolate water? You think so? Or you. Okay, so a lot of times, people don't realize what a watershed is. Do you guys know what a watershed is? No. Do you? So a watershed, is basically just an area. Can y'all see? Yes. So it is an area when the water hits the water where it sheds or moves to. Mm. So anywhere that you see in this little diagonal, where these little um, dotted lines, the water will hit and then it'll make its way eventually to this creek. And the creek goes where, guys? Do you see it? The creek goes to a river and then the river goes to a Pond. Pond or lake, yeah, exactly. And then to a city. Yes, it does. And on this side, we are right. There, we have a city that it goes to. So remember, when we talk about our water cycle, um, when water comes out of the clouds, it's what? Um, so it's the pee, precipitation. Yes. So it rains then on our watershed, and then it hits this, and then it goes all the way down. So what are some of the things, look, look at the picture guys, what are some of the things that's happening over here that could pollute our watershed? Um. Okay, if you're, well, if he's fishing and he throws, he throws trash in the water, could. What's happening up here though? Remember the watershed starts at the beginning. What, starts. What happens here? What, what could happen here that could pollute it? Um. I don't know, so we're gonna talk about that because it could be something in the houses that could pollute it. The city could be something, maybe some farming activity. So we're gonna talk about that. So do you guys know what watershed that we're in? Um, look right here. We are in the big Mississippi watershed. Okay, so can you guys find Indiana on the map? Where's Indiana? Lane, do you see it? It's I-N, there you go, good job. So here we are in Indiana and we're all the way, way down here, aren't we? Do you know, guys know what the big river is that's beside us? It starts with an O, your daddy works on it? O. Oklahoma. No, the river, O, hi, O river. Ohio Ohio. State. You're right, there is an Ohio State there too. Here's our Ohio River, do you guys see it? Can you guys follow it with me? Here you go. Let's look here, Josie. Let's take this, look right here. See your Ohio River? And then it goes into this big river called the Mississippi. And then the Mississippi goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, right? Yeah, Mexico. Yeah. And so everything that's yellow, look right here, is this watershed for the Mississippi. So we are Indiana. We follow in that. So the things we do in your yard, does it affect the Gulf of Mexico? Yes. Yes, it does. So we need to be careful about what we do. And just so you know, look, there's all sorts of watersheds. Look at all those different watersheds in the United States. Watershed, 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 yes, very good, watershed, Lane. Watershed, 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 <laughs> all of the different watershed, colors watershed, represents watershed, watersheds, watershed, watersheds that we have. So, watershed, so Josie, watershed, do you think everybody who lives in America watershed, lives in a watershed? watershed? Exactly, yes, everybody. So does everybody have responsibility to keep our water clean? Yes, okay. So, we all said there, everybody lives in a watershed, right? Do you remember what watershed you live in? The Miz, Indiana. We live in the state of Indiana, and it's the Mississippi. Mississippi watershed, good. So, we saw the picture. Remember with this picture? We saw where everybody could have be doing something. So, tell me, if you're in your backyard, what is something that you could have done, not thinking, and it could end up in the watershed? What if you had, what if you were eating this nice sandwich and you got done and you're, and you're, you're done with your meal, throwing it in the trash can where it belongs, what if you threw it on the ground and then it rained, what would happen to that trash? Put it in the water and see what'll happen. <gasps> right, because it's gonna rain and then it's gonna push it off. Lane, what if you finished drinking that water bottle? 
and you were driving down the road and you threw it out the window, what would happen to it eventually? Float. It would float. Okay, so let's look at all this trash. If you're out on a picnic and you just had a McDonald's soft drink and you're like, it's just a little bitty piece of trash and you threw it on the floor, what would eventually happen? It would go to Mexico. It would. <laughs> all right, how many of you guys like to fish? Do you like to fish, guys? Yeah. Okay, you got your, you got your fishing line? Everybody got a fishing line? And you're fishing, and you break your line, you redo it, and instead of taking that fishing line and putting it in your pocket to throw away later, later you just dump it in the pond. <gasps> Do you, th now look in there, would you like to swim in something like this? No. Would you like to drink water in something like this? I wouldn't. So let's look at all this different trash. Start throwing the trash in. Start throwing trash in. Just throw it in. Throw in trash. And I always find these everywhere on the ground, don't you? And then what happens to these lids? Yeah, keep throwing it all in. All right, so if you're home or you're walking and you see trash, you should pick it up. And let's say, you're, let's say if we don't watch it and we have soil that's not covered and soil gets in our creeks, what happens now to it? It turns brown. It does turn brown. I'm going to mix it up a little. Oh, and now it's chocolate. And now it's chocolatey. Okay, and if you were a fish, would you want to live in that? Yes. You would? I want to drink. Chocolate. Okay, you want to drink it, but would you be able to see the bottom and see where you're going? And what if we change our oil on our cars and we just let it get on the pavement from our motor cars? Look at that. Oh, oh I would not to drink that. No, now see all those bubbles of oil. Would you want to be drinking any of that? No. No. So what can you two do? Because you can say, I'm just a kid. What can you guys do so we don't have a we don't have a watershed that looks like this? Pick it up. Pick up what? Trash. Trash. When you're out, are you gonna throw trash on the ground? No. Are you gonna when mom and dad are changing the oil, are you gonna say don't put that on the ground. You're going to say, recycle that, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you think you can do that? And what about our bottle tops? Are we going to make sure we pick all those up? Mm -hmm. Okay, now look at it. Is this someplace you want to live? No. Do you want to drink it? No. Do you want to swim in it? No. Do you want to fish in it? No. Okay, so we all are going to be responsible, right? And be good stewards of our land. We're back after learning about our watersheds, and what are you? What are some things that can get in our watershed if we're not careful? Um, animals. What? Animal poop can. That's a great thing. We can talk about that. Yes, animal poop can get in there if we don't clean up our animal poop. So we need to keep it cleaned up. What else are some things that can get in the water that we don't want? What'd you guys put in the bucket? What'd you put in the bucket? What What did we throw in here? Do you remember? Trash. Trash and soil, right? get into it so yeah. so this is our stem part portion of it that we want to talk to you about we're talking about oil spills look at these different things so do you guys know what an oil spill is like when a boat um, breaks down and all the oil can get out there or if they're mining no. oil there are different ways that they clean it up Lane come here and tell me some of these ways that you see them cleaning up this oil spill and, you, and Josie, you too. What are some of the things that these people are doing that you can tell me? Uh, shovel spring water. Yeah, in so it. sometimes they may have to go in the banks and shovel up where all the oil got on the sand and the dirt and get rid of it. What else? They've got a ring around this one, don't they? Right? Mm -hmm. So that's like putting a boom. That's called a boom. They put a boom around. Both of these are like, like this is a boom right here. They're doing that. And then they are stopping the oil from getting someplace else. And what are these guys doing here? Number three. Um, uh, sucking up. Yeah, that, exactly. This. Sometimes up. they actually vacuum up it. And so there's all different ways. And sometimes they put a disbursement on it. You see it over here? Remember, um, we talked about water and cohesion as they like each other. And they then you can put your hand in the water. Okay. And then if you put dish detergent on it, it breaks the bonds, right? So that's what they're doing here. They're putting detergent on and it's breaking the bonds so then they can collect the water then. So if you, this is our STEM challenge, parents. All you need <laughs> is water in a container, some vegetable oil, and then you get creative. Whatever you and your child think you can do to help clean it up. Remember we talked about building booms, right? 
You guys listening? <laughs> Vacuuming, <laughs> dispersing. So you may want to do some paper towels. Some straws would be good to keep. Um, some eye <laughs> things would be a way you could use it. Um, and so feathers. Okay, we better stop. Okay. One more thing. Okay, enough. I started that. That was my bad. So we can think about um, if you have any feathers, anything you have at home that you think you can. So parents, what you do is just you're going to add an oil spill. Oh, no. Oil got spilled into our water. And then you allow the kids to be creative on different ways to get the oil out. And so the goal is you can challenge them. You can measure. We can be like scientists. Yes. Well, try to get the oil out. You can measure then how much oil you put in and then how much is left over. So that is our STEM challenge for you today is to find a way to clean up as much oil as you can using whatever you have at home. And don't forget about your detergent. Maybe try detergent also. Suck up the oil. Remember this, guys? You want to try to suck up the oil? That may be a way too. Take a picture and post it in the comments below so we can see how creative your kid was able to get. Good luck.